Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Talk. My name's Chase, and today we're gonna to be discussing a few tips on how to maintain your bilge pump, as well as a few of its features. All right guys, so this is a rule, 1100 gallon per hour pump. We install these in all of our boats. Some models will get one, others will get two. Um, if you'd like, you can go check out our other video on how bilge pumps work and what they do. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on some of the key maintenance features of your bilge pump. So the bilge pump's gonna be mounted to the most rear part of the bilge as possible on a flat surface. This grate is gonna be screwed in. The pump will just go set right in this track and lock in. So in that case where you get debris, any sort of just contaminated water, anything like that, you can simply pull this off, pull out any of the grass, debris, clean it, and then simply set your bilge pump right back down and it will lock into place. So on the rear of the bilge pump, you'll notice this piece of protruded plastic. It'll go all the way down flush to the bottom of the grate. This is actually an internal sensor. So as the water rises and gets to two inches, it will automatically kick on, receiving the water all the way down to five eighths inches. Once it gets to five eighths, the pump will kick off. If for some reason you get debris in there and it rests on the sensor to where it thinks it's got water all the way up to that part, it will kick on and it will go into a backup feature to where it will only run for two and a half minutes and then it will kick off for two and a half minutes, thus not burning up the pump running continuously and also putting less stress on your batteries. So the last feature of the bilge pump, which is very nice, say for whatever reason it's not working, your dash switch, you don't feel like your float's working at all, you got water in there, the pump is just not running. You can always go to the back side of it. It has a nice just touch here button, rest your finger on there for five seconds, and at that point it's still not coming on, then we know we can start checking the wiring and all your connections to the pump. But that's just one more kind of safety feature that's built into the pump. All right guys, thanks for watching this short video on a couple of the features of your bilge pump. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. Like and subscribe. And if you have anything that you guys would like to see from us, please email us at the address listed below. And we'll see you next time.